Hi, I'm James Whiston. I'm a head coach at Titans Mixed Martial Arts Academy. I teach for MMA and the submission wrestling classes here. I'm a professional fighter with a 2-2 two and two record. Both uh, two wins were by ground and pound or knockout in the first round. Uh, fighting at 66 kilos, which is about 10, 10 and a half stones. I've been training for 11 years, started when I was 15 uh, at Birmingham Wrestling Academy. I was uh, wrestling from a junior up until I was uh, 22 there. I took uh, national titles as a junior in uh, England and Ireland. I competed in Belgium and Germany for the junior team. And then I progressed on to training MMA after watching UFC. I've uh, trained boxing, Thai boxing, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, mainly without the gi, because uh, it's more sport specific for MMA. We uh, also incorporate ground and pound into our training, and I've been training all over the Midlands with some of the best pro fighters. When I'm not training for a fight, I don't eat healthy, but when I do train for a fight, it's very strict and regimented. Uh, I wake up, have a usually for breakfast around 9 o'clock, then at 12 o'clock I have chicken, chicken breast, 3 o'clock I normally have some fruit, a variety of fruit, then 6 o'clock uh, for evening meal it's a protein shake, normally uh, an all-in-one protein shake. Supplements, uh, I only really use, I take vitamin C daily, uh, I take multivitamin and uh, glucosal. Because I work full-time I've got a for as much training as I can. I'll work a job Monday 9 to 5.30 and I'll train every evening by Friday evening then I'll train twice on a Saturday and once on a Sunday so resting period for the weeks only Friday evening and uh, Sunday daytime as I get the training session in in the morning. Any more than that it's just not possible just to your body needs a bit of rest and it, I probably need more rest than I am getting. With training, you've got to balance it out with uh, with the MMA. It's divided into wrestling, jiu-jitsu, boxing, and all that's divided into warm-up, drilling, sparring, uh, stretching, and flexibility work, and cardio work as well, which is separate what you do in a gym. Uh, because I start out so heavy for my weight. Uh, I can't do any like power lifting or strength work because uh, I normally walk around about 85 kilo and fight at 66. So I drop a stone uh, every month going up to a fight, and because I'm so big when I walk around 85 because I carry so much muscle, as I strip the fat, I'm naturally strong. It's also free to comes from Olympic wrestling as well. Without, without that, I've got a natural strength from just wrestling. Wrestling is basically just pushing, pulling and grappling with another strong man. It's basically a weight session for an hour. Guys are really watching UFC and like to emulate uh, a lot of the lightweight fighters like BJ Penn, uh, Sean Shirk, Frank Diego, because they're light, they're quick, they're explosive. But I've got my favourites like uh, Randy Couture before he uh, retired, uh, Brock Lesnar, uh, Anderson Silva, Chael Sonnen's big favourite. All, all good wrestlers, high paced. Good cardio. Five tips. First one, they've got to enjoy it. If they don't enjoy it, there's no point going on with it. I thoroughly enjoy it. That's why I do it. So they've got to enjoy it. They've got to be dedicated. A lot, a lot of young people now, they'll, they'll either go out or they'll play Xbox. You've got, you've got to be dedicated in anything if you want to get anywhere. Uh, eating right. A lot of young people don't know how to eat right. Even some of my guys here are like 18, 19, 20. Fighting semi-pro, they don't know, they don't know what to eat and when to eat. So that's a big issue. It's a big issue in schools as well. I don't think kids are being educated properly on what to eat and when to eat. You can come to class like two, three times a week, and it's great. But you've got to do your research. And I reckon that's what I do a lot. I'm always, it, even in downtime, I'm watching YouTube. I'm on the MMA websites, technique websites. So you've got to do your homework. Another thing is you need to move around gyms as well. You can't just stay stagnant in one gym. I teach here in Redditch, but I also train in Birmingham, two, two locations in Birmingham and another gym in Redditch. So you're training with other guys that aren't drilling what you're drilling at your main club. And it's a good variety. And so you can test techniques out you've learned in one club to another. Competition. You, you've got to compete. The, what I've found through the 11 years I've been training is every time you compete, you learn so much more than you would on the map. 
you'd learn, you'd get six months experience from every competition you get. I've, I've always competed, I, I wrestled, I trained for six months wrestling and I jumped into a novice competition and it was great because it's different competing with someone on a wrestling mat in the, in the gym than it is at a competition because so much more is on the line and just general experience through competition and ex going to competition is good because you meet friends and you meet who's on the circuit and you can see what other people are doing. If you'd like to get involved please contact us at Titans Mixed Martial Arts Academy. Uh, the website's titans.co.uk. We've also got a Facebook page as well. If you just search Titans or Google Titans, Reddit, you'll catch us.